today's video we are going to discuss about angle modulators we will be discussing about two angle modulators one is based on varactor diode one is one is a transistor based angle modulator now what is angle modulators we know that angle modulation means we can call frequency modulation and phase modulation as two categories of angle modulations right so in order to produce either fm or pm the modulators that we use are called angle modulators okay so here we are going to discuss about two main type of angle modulators the main or the commonly used type is the varactor diode type of modulator and the second type type is the transistor type modulator okay so here first we are going to discuss about the varactor diode modulator you can see that this varactor diode modulator is having we can actually classify it as three sessions this is the af session you are going to provide your af signal here that is your audio frequency signal that is your modulating signal and this session we call it as an af transformer this session is the varactor diode session and then there is a local oscillator it is not a local oscillator it is an oscillator it is an oscillator tuned circuit okay so based on this applied signals or af signals instantaneous voltage level or amplitude the frequency has to change okay it can be either frequency or phase now here in this video we will be discussing about how the frequency variations is going to happen okay so varactor diode modulator is actually a direct method which can be used for fm generation this is a direct method okay direct method of fm generation where the carrier frequency is directly varied according to the modulating signal and the carrier frequency will vary according to this modulating signal that we apply here we know that varactor diode is a semiconductor diode and the varactor diode semi uh, semiconductor that is this semiconductor diode has a property that when it is in reverse bias the junction capacitance will vary linearly in accordance with the applied voltage this is the most important property of varactor diode that we are using in order to make it as an angle modulator that is when it is in reverse bias the junction capacitance junction capacitance will vary directly with the applied voltage okay so the varactor diodes can be used to produce fm waves or pm waves okay now consider that here how the uh, working is going to happen let us see okay so the varactor diode in this circuit is arranged in the reversed bias okay so the varactor diode we are actually placing in the reverse bias condition to offer junction capacitance effect in the modulating signal we are actually applying in series with the varactor diode and will vary the bias of this modulating signal and hence the junction capacitance will also change and due to this change in junction capacitance happening here with the varactor diode the oscillator frequency will also change accordingly so we can club these things together see there is a voltage we are applying here based on the changes in this voltage the junction capacitance is going to be changed in the varactor diode and according to this change there is a change in the oscillator frequency so this is nothing but frequency modulation okay so if you see the basic things which are happening it is equal to the modulation of carrier frequency okay so the external af signal or the modulating signal it is actually been connected to you can see there is a negative dc bias connected or it is connected to a dc bias and which changes the capacitor when there is a negative bias is getting added or subtracted to this modulating voltage there will be some changes happening in the voltage and when this changes is happening and it is been connected to this varactor diode its junction capacitance is changing and the frequency of oscillation will also get affected here okay now when there is some positive alterations happening to this voltage applied here in this session that is an af transformer session what will happen the junction capacitance will actually decrease that is when positive 
changes is happening to AF voltage. So this negative voltage can get added or subtracted with this modulating voltage, right? So when there is a positive change happening, what will happen? The junction capacitance will actually reduce or decrease. Okay. So when this junction capacitance is decreasing, frequency will increase. Okay. Then for negative changes, what will happen? The reverse will happen. For negative change in AF voltage, the junction capacitance is increased and frequency is reduced. Okay. So, this is the variations happening. So, the link is actually with the junction capacitance. Based on the increase and decrease in the junction capacitance, the frequency of this circuit will increase or decrease. Okay. So, that is the thing which is happening here. Also, you can see that there is a RFC here. There is an inductor and there is a CB that is a capacitor. This RFC and CB will act as a filter and its purpose is to transmit only the AF variations to the varactor diode. That is whatever variations or that is increase or decrease is happening to the AF voltage. It will only transmit those variations and it will block the higher frequency RF voltage. Okay. So if some higher frequency voltages is coming, it will block that voltages. Okay. So that is the function of this filter. It is RFC and CB. Okay. So this is actually one of the widely accepted type of angle modulators. The, actually the working is very simple. Based on this AF variations, the capacitance is affected and due to which the oscillator connected to will uh, connected to the circuit or this diode will get affected. So this method is very simple and it is widely acceptable. Okay. Now talking about factor diode based angle modulator is widely used because directly based on the AF signals voltage changes the frequency is also getting changed right that is what we actually want in an FM based on the instantaneous change in the AF or the modulating signal the frequency has to change okay so that is how it is happening here now one of the drawbacks of this diode modulator is that here the peak frequency deviations is actually very small in value and it, hence it cannot be used for low that is for higher end applications or higher index applications we cannot use this type of modulators it can be only used for low index applications okay that is the frequency deviation values are actually very small values and it cannot be used for higher index applications it is generally used in two-way mobile radio, that kind of applications, okay. And also another important feature of Varactor diode, if you have uh, seen the video of uh, Super Heterodyne Receiver, this Varactor diode is mainly used for automatic frequency control and tuning purpose. The main function of a Varactor diode is it can be used for tuning or having frequency selectivity, okay. So this for uh, generally for all frequency related applications we can use varactor diode based on its property that when it is in reverse bias its junction capacitance will actually get affected with the applied voltage okay it is directly proportional to the applied voltage so this pr property is being used for making it used in the tuning circuits okay so that's all about the varactor diode modulator next we are going to see about the transistor based angle modulator type of angle modulator that we are going to discuss is reactance modulator. So this reactant modulator, reactance modulator can also be used for generation of FM waves. So here the device that we are going to use is a JFET. You can see that there is a JFET connected here and there is a tank circuit or there is an oscillator tank circuit which is comprising of this L1 and C1. Okay. So this JFET will act as a variable reactance load to this LC tank circuit. So this is the LC tank circuit and this JFET act as a variable reactance load to this LC tank circuit. And you can see that the modulating signal or our information signal is being applied to this resistance R3. Okay. This resistance is R1, 
R3 and R4, which is the R4 is actually connected to VDD. These three resistors will provide the necessary bias for working of this JFET Q1. Okay. Now, the circuit drawn here is actually the equivalent circuit of the above reactance modulator. Now, let us see about how the equations are coming. Here, consider that there is no current being drawn to the input of JFET. Then we can write the voltage Vg is equal to Ig into R. When the current Ig is not getting splitted to this branch, the total current will be flowing through the resistance R1 and this voltage, there is voltage in this terminal or this particular voltage will be equal to Vg that is Ig into R. And also we can write the current Ig is equal to the voltage V by R minus J Xc, where Xc is the reactance of this capacitance. So, we can write, if you substitute Ig in this equation as V, min, v by R minus J Xc, then you will get Vg is equal to V minus V by R minus J Xc into R. Okay. Next, the drain current equation is drain current Id equal to Gm into Vg, where Gm is the transconductance of the JFET into the voltage Vg. So, here you have to substitute the value of Vg like this. That is, if you take this as equation number 1 and this is equation number 2, if you substitute the value of 1 in 2, you will be getting Gm into V by R minus Jxc into R. Next, we are going to take an impedance value that is the impedance between drain and ground. We are going to call it as ZD and that impedance is equal to voltage by current. We are taking the uh, resistance or impedance between drain and ground. So it will be equal to the voltage by drain current. So here substitute the value of ID from equation 3. Now consider this as equation 3. Substitute the value 3 here and you will be getting R minus JXC by Gm into R. This simplified, you will be getting, just take uh, 1 by Gm outside, you will be getting 1 by Gm into 1 minus JXC by R. Now this Xc value, you can take it as 1 by 2 pi Fm into C, where Fm is the modulating signal frequency. So just substitute it here and also just consider in this equation, let this be equation number 4. In the equation number 4, if the value of R is very much less than Xc, when the value of R, see there is a fraction here. So, if the denominator is very much less than Xc, then you can write, that is, we can rewrite this equation number 4 like this. Zd is equal to 1 by Gm into minus Jxc by R. This one term you can cancel. Okay, so here in this equation, that is, let this be equation number 5. In this equation number 5, just substitute the value of Xc as the value written here. That is 1 by 2 pi Fm into C. And you will be getting the final equation for the drain to ground impedance. Okay, now this is these are the equations. Now, let us see what is the working of the circuit. Here we are actually going to apply our modulating signal to the resistance R3. And when the modulating signal is applied, you can see that this resistance R3 is actually connected in between the gate to source terminals, in between those two terminals. So when the voltage is being applied to this R3 resistance, what will happen? The source or that is the gate to source voltage will be varied accordingly. And when this gate to source voltage, here you can see that the voltage we are taking as Vg. Okay, so this voltage is actually getting affected. And when this Vg is effect, getting affected, the transconductance of the JFET will also get affected. And as a result, there will be a change in, you can see that in the equation for the impedance is said D, there is a GM term here. So, when there is a change in Gm or the transconductance, the value of this impedance Zd will also get affected. Okay. And a change in this impedance will affect the 
resonant frequency of the tank circuit connected to this reactance modulator that is to this JFET circuit and this frequency change is actually in proportional with the in proportion with the modulating signal okay so that is the resonant frequency of the oscillator circuit will affect will get affected by this change in SMD okay so this is how the reactance modulator is actually working so if you brief up the working of a reactance modulator the modulating signal is actually applied to this resistance r3 when the modulating signal is passing through there is where some changes happening in the modulating signal the gate to source voltage is getting changed that is vg this voltage is getting changed due to the change in vg gm is getting changed see there is a relation between gm and vg so this gm will also get affected due to this change the impedance ZD is also affected and due to the change in ZD, the frequency of this tank circuit will change. So this frequency change is actually in proportion with the modulating signal. So this is actually the basic concept of FM and hence we can realize that concept with the help of a reactance modulator. Okay. So this is the basic working of a reactance modulator. So in this video we have actually discussed two type of modulators. One is varactor modulator, second one is reactance or JFET based reactance modulator. Okay. So we have discussed uh, the circuit diagram and the working in detail and also the important equations. So I'm really hoping that you found the video useful. If yes, please do give it a thumbs up. Also share it with your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.